Do you remember these straws? They were really popular during the 90s. Super fun to use, but impossible to clean, and once bent, simply useless. The way your smoothie travels through a straw is really similar to the way that blood flow travels inside our vessels. Using Doppler ultrasound, we can analyze this flow in almost every part of the body. You name it, head, neck, limbs, and of course, in the largest intra-abdominal organ, the liver. When children receive a liver transplant, surgeons connect the vessels of the donated liver to the vessels of the patients, sometimes creating these kinks, loops, or strictures which can modify the blood flow that the liver receives. The liver can suffer, and in some cases, these patients require a second transplant. Imagine trying to take a big sip of a thick smoothie using a really thin straw or a bent one. It's like the liver is trying to take a big sip of blood from a three millimeter vessel. The liver has two sources of blood supply, the hepatic artery and the portal vein. In our project, we used Doppler ultrasound to analyze these structures and we found out that there is one parameter that predicted complications. The velocity of the flow inside the portal vein. This was slower in patients that developed complications and when it was lower than 60 centimeters per second, these patients had five times greater odds of having a complication. This is an extremely interesting finding because it will help us target patients at high risk of developing complications, even before they develop any clinical sign or symptom. In this way, we can intervene on them early and even prevent a complication from occurring. All of this to ensure that that precious organ doesn't die. If a child has already survived long enough with a life-threatening liver disease, waited long enough for a liver transplant, and survived one of the most complex surgical procedures there is, our efforts should be extended to guarantee the best possible outcome for these patients. Not only to increase their chances of survival, but also to honor the lives of all past and future organ donors. Thank you.